besides providing a means of freeing us from the cares of this world, why did God as a part of his creative work give a command to rest? Today is day three of this week's lesson in which we learn the value of what God did for us in terms of rest at creation. Our key text for this week is found in Genesis chapter two, verse three, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it, he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. That's Genesis two, verse three, the New King James Version. The title of this week's lesson is The Command to rest. Although God had declared his creation work as very good, it was not complete. Creation ends with God's rest and special blessing of the seventh day, the Sabbath. Genesis 2, 3 says, and it's the New King James, it says, then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. The Sabbath is a part of the package of God's creation. In fact, it ends the creation week. God establishes a specific period in time for rest and creates a space for the human family, that is Adam and Eve, to pause from their day-to-day -day activities and rest side by side with their creator. Unfortunately, sin entered this world and changed everything. It ended direct communications with God. What was once pleasurable became uncomfortable. In place of comfort came painful birth hard work, fragile and dysfunctional relationships, and on and on. The list of misery that we all know as well as life on this fallen world seems never ending. Nevertheless, nevertheless, despite all this world's problems, God's Sabbath remains an enduring symbol of our creation and also the hope and promise of our recreation. If we needed the Sabbath rest before sin, how much more do we need it after sin? Thus, many years later, when God frees his children from slavery in Egypt, he reminds them again of this special day. In reading Exodus 28 through 11, you'll find that the Sabbath command links back to creation. It reads, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it, you shall do no work. You nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. Now notice the link back to creation in the next verse. It says, for in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. With this command, God calls all of us to remember our origin, to remember our roots. Contrary to what so many believe, we are not the results of detached, uncaring, blind forces. On the contrary, we are beings, we are beings created in the image of God. We were created to share 
fellowship with God, even though the Israelites had been treated like slaves with little work. With each Sabbath in a special way, they were called to remember who they really were. They were human beings made in the image of God himself. And since the Sabbath is a memorial of the work of creation, it is a token of the love and power of Christ. Though some might agree, not uh, though some may not agree, the principle of a six day creation is important. This was so important that God commands that we devote one seventh of our lives every week and without exception to remembering it. This fact alone teaches us about how crucial it is to remember our true or origin, our roots as depicted in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created heaven, the heavens and the earth. This concludes this week's lesson. Join us tomorrow as we discover what did, what God did in the wilderness to help the Israelites get back in the habit of resting. If you'd like to receive a copy of the lesson, you can obtain it at ssnet.org, ssnet.org. Click on Adult SS and select Weekly Lesson. Stay tuned tomorrow as we learn of the new circumstances for rest. And I pray that you will have a blessed and wonderful day.